And yeah, man, it has to be understood. Like the real reason behind certain things, as opposed to the what is, you know, misbetrayed and distorted to be. Like some like horrible, horrible evils that were committed. You know what I'm saying? Like the murder, like literally an innocence with the watch of the, you know, structures as well as these influential figures. It was back through these influential figures that was jealous of it, man. They was just jealous of my talent. You feel me? It's that simple. They did that because they was jealous of my talent. It wasn't because, you know what I'm saying, something or some kind of stigma that's bounded and, you know, confined to cultural, you know what I'm saying, structures. You know what I'm saying? Because they knew from the jump, you know, way back before they did that, that I was a, a servant of God, servant of Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? They knew that. Therefore, therefore, you know what I mean? I was strictly that. I wasn't a guy that was halfway in the world or halfway not. They, they start me every day. They saw that I lived the life, you know what I'm saying, consistent with that. And so, I mean, you know, and that's after my um, talent and everything was already manifest. So that's the reason they did that. You know what I'm saying? They did that because, you know, in order to like, they was hoping that it'll hurt me so bad that I wouldn't be able to proceed or progress with my talent and my art. Because then if I couldn't do that, then whatever lines they said that come up off of me, they used me as a, a scapegoat, you know. So they whatever they had, they had already put this campaign on me, but I didn't even know about it. So they was hoping that they can use that to come up from it. And they, and they succeeded in that. They they did you use that to come up from and they destroyed that. They did, you know, they they did other atrocities and, and murders and stuff, you know, just so I, you know, it hurt me so bad that I couldn't recover from it. And I would never be able to like sh do what I'm doing now. Showing that they fraud, you know, showing that they, you know what I'm saying, they did, you know, that the whole empire was fake and on darkness. I mean, it was a horrible decision to do it to me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't care. I don't have nothing to lose. You know, everything in the game. And, uh, you know, it's heaven. And, I mean, I already know. I mean, God got me. You know what I'm saying? God is the creator of it. He has the keys of life and death. So, I mean, he decides who goes where after they die. That's the only thing that matters. Because if you go to heaven, then you, you win eternally. No matter what. You know what I'm saying? You won. You there. You home. But then you also know that those that did this, they can never, they'll never, ever go there. You know? It's all bad. You know, forever. You know what I'm saying? It's downhill. Not only when they die, they go to hell. Then when the second, when it's time, you know, when God judge, the second death, you know what I'm saying? Then hell itself get thrown into the lake of fire with them. And they also individually being sent back to the lake of fire. So they go out there, they go sent right back to where they're going to spend eternity. So they lose forever. You feel me? They lose forever. And so people who are victorious in Christ, we win forever. You get it? So, I mean, it, it, these concepts, they extend to the spiritual realm. But, yeah, the real reason they did that, man, was because, you know, they, they wanted to ensure that the world never saw the glory of God through my life, through my ministry, you know, my ministry of the gospel, and through, you know what I'm saying, just my, the impact of God that I was going to bring for the, to the world, you know. And then, you know, the, the artistic, you know, uh, I call it artistic revolution. I mean, that really is a fossil. You know what I'm saying? The artistic revolution is a fossil. You know what I'm saying? They, if, if people are discussing what's fossils, that's really a fossil. Because you, you see the fragments everywhere. You know what I'm saying? But you know it can never be, you know, you can't bring it back because they did this on purpose. And it wasn't because what they did to me. It's because what they did to everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else and everybody don't. You know, they they haven't fully digested the, the you know the gravity of the situation yet. So that's why it's it's you know kind of nonchalant because they haven't fully digested the damage of what they've really done to God. You know, so I mean it's horrible. You know, and so they did that. You know, really because you know they was jealous. You know what I'm saying? And they was trying to hurt me. You know, to the point where I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now. And which sucks for them because I'm doing what I'm doing anyway. And they shall never, you know, their kingdom of darkness shall never recover. Just like I can never, just like the the artistic revolution, you know, all the plans of God that was defiled can never be reversed. You know, is they, they poisoned everything. They poisoned the whole world. And they did all that on purpose, you know. And so, I mean, it's evident, you know. But, yeah, that's the real reason they did anything they did. You know, it wasn't because nothing I did, cause, you know, in consistence with cultures that I wasn't a part of. It was because, you know, of, you know, it, you know, it wasn't because of anything that I 
had the power to like do, you know. It was because of decisions they had already premeditated when they seen the power of God on my life way back. So in advance, they had already decided that if I show any traces of, uh, you know, progressing, you know what I'm saying, for God, you know, artistically, then they was going to do this anyway. They was going to do whatever they could to break me mercilessly, brutally, and to the point where I'd be so sabotaged to where, you know, I would not have the strength, you know, the heart or the courage or anything to proceed with the calling of God. You know what I'm saying? For the liberation, salvation, and, you know, the encouragement of his people. You know? So that's the real reason why anything and everything was manifested. And that's the real reason it happened. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Me following God, being a servant of God, I don't like no kind of, you feel me, like distortion about the situation. I like everything. I like truth. I like facts. I like light. You know what I'm saying? I like holiness. I like righteousness. I like when things are fair. I like just, I like things that God loves. And I hate the things that God hates, you know? So, I mean, everything pretty evident. 